Hi friends. So we have been learning all about different families, which are people who love and care for each other. But there are also bigger groups of people who care for each other and work together to do things. A big group of people who works together and does things together is called a community. In a community, everyone has a special job to do. In our school, we have a community and each person at school has a special job to do. We have teachers, cafeteria workers, principals, librarians, and so much more. So today we are going to be reading this book. The title is Career Day. This book is about a pre-K classroom where lots of community members come to visit and talk about their special jobs or careers. Can you point to the title of the book? Good job, Career Day. The author is Anne Rockwell and the illustrator is Lizzie Rockwell. Remember, the author writes the story and the illustrator draws the picture. So here we have the title page. What do you see the little boy playing with? Good job. He's playing with a doctor bag. Now, do you think he's a real doctor or do you think he's just pretending he's a doctor? Good, he's pretending. He's not a doctor just yet. When special visitors come to our school, they tell us about the work they do. Then we tell them about the work we do. Today, it's my turn to introduce my visitor. What if I forget what I'm supposed to say? Sometimes that happens. Not just to me, Mr. Madoff says, but to everyone. So right here, you see the boy is about to introduce his special visitor to his classmates. Here he is, right on time. Uh, this is my dad, I say. He drives a big bulldozer. He's helping build our new library. Good morning, Mr. Lopez, everyone says. Good morning, boys and girls, my dad says. So, Mr. Lopez's job is the boy, he's a career builder. He is a construction, construction worker. He is helping build the library so that lots of people in the community can visit the library once it's built. Have you ever seen construction workers building things in your community? Next, we meet Charlie's visitor. His mother is a judge who works in a courtroom and wears a long black robe. If there's too much noise, she pounds her gavel and says, order in the court. Then everyone has to be quiet. When Kate introduces her visitor, she says, my dad plays bass in an orchestra at night. He practices all day and takes care of my baby brother while our mother goes to work at the bank. Michael's mother writes books for us to read. She draws the pictures in them too. She is very good at drawing mice. What do you think Michael's mother job is? We just talked about this. If she draws the pictures in the book, she is a good job illustrator.
Mr. Madoff's visitor is her husband. He's a scientist called a paleontologist. He just got back from South America where he was digging for dinosaur bones. The bones tell us about dinosaurs that lived long ago. Sarah's visitor is our crossing guard. She brings Sarah to school every day because she is also Sarah's grandmother. That's why Sarah is always the first one at school and the last one to go home in the afternoon. Evelyn's mother is a nurse in the hospital. She takes care of all the newborn babies in our town. She tells us those babies are very, very cute, but they sure do cry a lot when they're hungry. Jessica's mother takes care of animals. She's a veterinarian, the kind of doctor who makes sick animals better. Sam's visitor drives a sanitation truck that carries our garbage to the big town dump. Kate and Evelyn and I wave to him just as we always do whenever he comes down our street. Hey kids, remember to recycle, Sam father says. Evan's father wears a leather apron that holds the tool he uses all the time. He shows us how to hammer a nail. When it's time for Nicholas to introduce his visitor, he says, I bet you bought all the groceries at the Friendly Farm Market. Guess what? My father is a manager of the store. Today, it's Mr. Cisco's turn to introduce his special visitor. He says, good morning, everyone. I'd like you to meet Professor Alcorn. He's my teacher at college. Hey, I never knew grownups had teachers too. Grownups sure have interesting work to do, and so do we. What kind of jobs do you see the students doing in the classroom? Do you see this little boy passing out the napkins? This girl watering the plants? We also have this little girl feeding the fish. Good job. They all have a special job to do. I wonder what I'll be when I grow up. The end.